Elliot Grinch. What's going on guys, Game Boy EG here, back with another LSPD4 GTA 5 quick tutorial. And um, so I'm in the mix of, um, I'm getting ready to do a, a, a role play segment using the Interable Greyhound Coach Bus created by Kizza Kudo and Tall70. All right, I like this bus very well. This is the uh, 3.0 version. So um, I went ahead and downloaded the uh, resources already. So I'm gonna I'm gonna close this out actually. All right, because this won't be needed now. I already have the resources. And um, as you can see here. So let's go into it. So what was great is when you look at the info. So he, you know, they want you to replace the coach. I, I'm gonna keep my regular coach. So I'm just gonna use the um the add-on pack that I actually use the add-on folder that you know. I created for myself and it actually has it's already set up so that um it can uh utilize add-on vehicles so I'm, I'm just creating an add-on okay let me uh close this out and um so they give us the handling meta they give us the uh vehicle meta and car variations information which is perfect so within my add-on folder i have these files already set up so and let me show you what i'm talking about let's go to open four so we're going to go to make sure you're in edit mode we're going to go to mods update x64 dlc pack and we're going to drag and drop this here right so it's going to be at the bottom so all you have to do is rename it rename the uh, folder so since I already have a coach this is gonna be coach 99 okay to be on the safe side um, cause I know there's a lot of coach add-ons and, and you know sometimes they already have the numerical value you know so 99 is a safe one we'll, we'll go with 99 so coach 99 so with, when you go into the uh, folder so let me minimize this so I don't have a bunch of clutter on the desktop we're going to go to DLC, X64, live, um, levels, GTA 5 vehicles, vehicles, RPF. So I'm going to get rid of this. This is uh, another vehicle I like to use, actually. And I'm going to delete those out of there. And we're going to put the coach in here. And you always have to remember to rename it. So it's going to be coach 99. Once again, 99 and 99 and one more time. Coast 99, right? Perfect. And then we have the uh, Greyhound. So then we're going to back out. Now we have to deal with our metadata files. So first thing we're going to do setup is already is always uh set up this oh correction let me, let me shut up I'm going too fast so make sure you change the um the name here oh let's go into edit mode so it's going to be coach 99 all right and the easiest way to do this let me do it like this copy double click paste this you actually have to drag over then just paste same here all right so make sure it's coach 99 so the dlc pack we're going to copy this because we're going to need it for the next file that we alter so i'm going to make sure because it only takes one name that you didn't change in the line and you know it, it will crash your game all right so we're going to go to content the content xml so real simple if you did what i what i did just paste 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 
double click paste double click paste double click paste so as you can see so we have the vehicle um the vehicle location which is the coach 99 vehicle we have the handling location car coals um this is standard the dlc text car variations and the vehicle meta file location all right so once again we're going to have to well let's do these first because it's once again double click and paste let's change all of these paste 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 and paste so then here i'm just gonna go ahead, i'm gonna type it out it's gonna be coach 99 all right so go ahead and save that so we don't have to do that again all right so like i said what's good is they gave us the car variation. so let's take a look at what we need for for this so we have the handling vehicle meta car variations so what we're going to delete is we don't need car calls so let's look for our car calls line where is that at so we could get rid of this item we don't need car calls you know so there's no car calls xml or meta so this way the game doesn't have to look for it in this folder because there is no car calls all right so we de we delete that we only need handling so let's go to common data so let's also get rid of the car calls meta we could delete that we're only dealing with handling car variations and over here is the vehicle meta all right so let's just go we'll go in order of how they have it set up so go ahead and um i'm going to go ahead and name the uh handling coach 99 and i'm going to add it here so we go from item open okay so this doesn't have a item closed so that's no big deal just remember just remember this start from here just before the item close right paste and that's that so we have the handling for coach 99 so the game will look for the handling for this vehicle within this folder it's not going to go to the general population of um you know gta 5 handling items okay so next thing we need is the vehicle meta so let's go to levels gta 5 Let's open up our vehicle metas vehicle meta and i'm going to rename this coach 99 it's going to be coach 99 handling id is coach 99 that's the name of ours and in the game we'll call it coach 99 all right uh, i also like to take a look at the audio hash so as you can see audio hash here i'm going to alter that alter this because usually when you have an add-on what happens is if there's no audio hash, I did a tutorial on this. I'll link it up above. The, the vehicle will have no sound. Okay, so keep that in mind. All right, so we're going to, I know off the back, it's going to be bus. I want the game to use the audio sound for bus. All right, we're going to change this. And we're going to put the uh, forward slash there. And that's that. So it should have the sound of the bus. Okay. And that is it. As of right now. Okay. As of right now, we're going to just use the. I'm not going to add flag liveries. You, you could do that yourself if you choose to. If you put flip. If you put more. You know. Have multiple liveries added. Um, just make sure you add the flag liveries flag has liveries um, down there all right so we're going to copy but i'm just going to do this for now go from item to item paste and there we go so we got coach 99 coach 99 coach 99 i added the audio for the bus and we should be good for that. It should close. Perfect. All right. Now we're going to go to car variations. Back out. Going to edit. 
We're going to make this coach 99. Let's go down. And we're good to go. So be using the standard license plates. Good. All right. And we go from item open to item close. Okay. We're going to copy. There. Paste. Should close. And we are good to go. All right. So no, I'm not going to save because I'm not going to overwrite their information don't save and that's it all right so we took a replaced vehicle and we just went ahead and made it an add-on so i'm going to close this out oh don't forget as i almost did we're going to go to mods update update rpf common data dlc list make sure you add it to your dlc list so i'm going to add this to the bottom I'm going to copy, make a new line. It's going to be coach 99. All right. And um, there's another thing you can also do. Let's see if I can. Let's see if I can get to it. If I can navigate to it quickly. Uh, common data. Levels GTA 5. Uh, wait. No update x64 data uh, update if I can remember where it's at data I really don't want to look it up oh uh, my goodness update Let's update update I think it's, wait, matter of fact, X64 levels, GTA 5. There we go. Now, if you go to your pop group, so it's update just so you guys can see. Let me, let me, uh, all right. I'm just going to, just a little, another tidbit. This is from our earlier video that I did. I'm just, you know, just going over things you guys may not be aware of that you may, you know, mess around and manipulate, manipulate your game. So you go to update. Update RPF X64 levels GTA 5. Go to your your pop groups, and if you go all the way down, so this is pretty much where your game gets the information from to um, add vehicles to the game. So let's quickly we're gonna do a bus. So ambient spawns pretty much like ambient spawns but all right uh because it's going to look for everything with bus in it so those are all peds so i believe it's somewhere somewhere down here okay vehicle transport so you can actually add i could you know I, you know we're going to go ahead and add Coach 99. Let me see. Uh, okay, so we're going to add Coach 99 to the game real quick as an ambient spawn, pretty much. So we're going to go from item to item. Okay, let me make sure I got that correctly. All right, so it will be copy. Right, so this is taxi. Okay, so I'm just gonna add it in the middle. So we're gonna put this, and we're gonna add coach 99. Okay, and we're gonna do the same thing down here. So we should see the coach 99 bus, you know, spawned or driving around, you know, Los Santos, wherever buses are at. All right. So coach 99. Okay. And we're going to add it here. Matter of fact, cause it could, uh, it could pop up in the, uh, on the countryside as well. 
So we're going to add this here as well. All right, Coach 99. And we'll do a save. Close this out, and I'm going to start the game up, and I'll see you guys in a moment. All right, so I got I have my game open, so um, let's go into a uh, simple trainer. I'm gonna go to vehicle spawning, added vehicles, and let me look for uh, Coach 99, which is a service vehicle here. And there you have it. All right, so we have the uh, Greyhound spawned, no issues. You can hear the sound. We have the bus sound working correctly. All right, so now what we're going to do is I'm going to try to locate um, this vehicle driving around uh, Los Santos somewhere or spawn somewhere. So let, let's check, of course, the uh, check over by the uh, bus depot, of course. Probably not going to be here. That would be just too, uh, <laughs> too convenient, right? All right, so definitely not over here, so. All right, so we'll, we'll drive around momentarily and, and hopefully we'll spot one. Matter of fact, I'm gonna just go ahead and go towards the, um, the highway. Go towards the highway, towards Blaine County. Oh. Yeah, I have to find out why my game keeps doing that. Takes a pause break for a moment and the, the cursor pops up. Alright, let me see. Uh, The best way to go. Let's go over here. Matter of fact, let me uh let me make sure I'm not just going in circles. Let me uh, go somewhere towards the uh, highway. And hmm. Hopefully we'll get lucky. I hope we get lucky and see one um, close by. I don't even. I can't remember where. Besides thinking of like the bus depot, where a bus would uh, spawn at. Maybe at the airport, possibly? Huh. Okay, let's just go ahead and get on the highway. And head towards the uh, towards Blaine County. I try to pan around and, and see if maybe we'll see one in the distance somewhere.
Yeah, come on, come on, come on. Let's. Where's the buses at? It just sucks when you need a vehicle to uh, just spawn for you and it won't. I think this happened also when, when I did the um, adding the uh, detectives. It just, that's just the, the way the game works. Yep, what is that? There we go. I knew it would pay off sooner or later. <laughs> but there you have it. We finally found it. So this is over in this area. Makes sense. So there we have the uh, Greyhound also in the game driving around. All right. So I'm going to park this bus and get up out of here. All right, Game Boy EG signed out on another one. Hope you guys enjoyed. Get down in the uh, comments. Let me know what you think. Uh, continue to like, share, subscribe if you're new to the channel. Hit that bell notification so you are so you are alerted to all my new content. All right. Get down with my Patreon as well. All right. Videos that you won't see on YouTube will be over there on my Patreon. All right. Game Boy G sign out in another one. You guys take care. Be safe. Yeah.